These are the craziest football records that will never be broken, like scoring one of the greatest goals in football history. It has been rightly said that Portugal has Cristiano, Argentina has Messi, and Zlatan has Sweden. And with this goal from 30 yards away, Zlatan certainly proved it. After a desperate clearance attempt from the goalkeeper, Zlatan says thank you very much and gets into position to score what many say is the greatest goal of all time. The interesting thing about the scoreline is all four of Sweden's goals came from Zlatan's foot that day. Now, I'm not a sneakerhead, but if Zlatan ever decides to auction that boot, I'm pretty sure it's going to catch a price in the millions. And since Zlatan scored four that day, let's take it up a notch with Lewandowski's five. The crazy thing about these goals is that they came in a space of nine minutes. You see, Bayern Munich was down one goal at halftime when coach Pep Guardiola decided to let Lewandowski off the leash. Afterwards, Wolfsburg could only watch as Lewandowski decimated the defense. His first three goals came in a span of four minutes, making it the fastest hat trick in Bundesliga history. But Lewandowski wasn't done yet. To make sure Wolfsburg was dead and buried, he launched two more in the back of the net. That run sure did catch a lot of attention, but Cristiano Ronaldo, he's got all the attention in the world. And I mean numbers like 500 million, because that's how many people follow him on Instagram. The man's got so many followers that Guinness World Records couldn't just ignore him anymore. So they inducted him into the Guinness World Record books in March of 2023. But you know what Messi does when he sees Ronaldo's follower count? He hugs the World Cup trophy a little tighter. I mean, Messi is most people's goat ever since he lifted the World Cup. But one of the things that makes him the greatest of all time is the 2011-2012 season with Barcelona. You see, Messi was tired of hearing the news go on about Ronaldo. So on New Year's Eve in 2012, Messi had a resolution. He wanted to put himself on the map. He went on to score a world record of 91 goals during the entire season, smashing the previous record by not one or two, but six goals. Messi's average goal scoring during the 2012 season comes out to about one goal every 66 minutes. But for Nicholas Benter, that's a little too slow. For Benter, he had to score his first premier goal in style. So he thought, why not make a world record out of it? 1.8 seconds after he was substituted into the game, Nicholas was celebrating a goal against Tottenham on the ground. There's more than one way to get in the record books, though, and in 2013, Serja Jewa had a wildly different idea than Nicholas Benter. Seven seconds after he was subbed in, Jewa was already on his way back. The reason? This. My man got the fastest red card in football history and got a laugh out of it. Although, I'll admit, that's a bit harsh from the ref. Talk about having no mercy. You know what having no mercy reminds me of? Dele Ali, who has a habit of doing players dirty with his nasty ball handling abilities. I mean, this man performs nutmegs like he's Lionel Messi. Back in 2017, Guinness decided to put his talents to the test, and the result? Ali nutmegged his teammate Georges Kevin eight times within 30 seconds and set a new world record. And if you thought that was impressive, let me tell you about the time AC Milan produced such a fearsome team, they came to be known as the Invincibles. You see, before legendary coach Arrigo Sacchi came into the picture, Milan had won only one Serie A title in 20 years. But all that changed when he was appointed coach of the team. Under his leadership, AC Milan went undefeated in 58 games between 1991 and 1993, a record in Italian football. By the time Sacchi left, Italian football had changed forever. And hey, I don't know if being undefeated for 58 games is that big of a deal because, trust me, I can easily do that on my PlayStation playing FIFA. All I gotta do is change every one of the players into Messi. I mean, the man holds the record for being the highest rated player in the game for 12 years. 
By comparison, Ronaldo has held the honor for only five years in the game's life. So, if you ever go to Ronaldo's house and find a bunch of broken FIFA discs in the trash can, you know the reason. What about Messi's Ballon d'Or trophies? Having one might as well be a career-defining moment for a lot of footballers, but Messi has won the coveted award a grand total of seven times. Even if he ended up losing one or two, he'll still be leading the race as the next person who follows him is Ronaldo with five wins. At least Ronaldo has Messi beat where it counts, and I'm talking about his 834 career goals in 1,161 games. Messi is not far behind with 805 goals, and by the time their careers end, who knows what the picture might look like. Messi and Ronaldo are both great athletes of the game, but do you reckon they could play football for 108 hours? Because that's the world record for the longest game of football. The record is held by Heartbeat United, and the final scoreline is even wilder than the playtime. At the end of the game, the scoreline read 1,009 to 874, which just falls short of a mind-boggling 1,900 goals scored during the game. Talk about being devoted to football. This guy would probably understand, because Kazuyoshi Miura, a Japanese footballer, devoted 55 years of his life to the game. His career started all the way back in 1982, when he traveled to Brazil alone to chase his dream of becoming a professional footballer. Fast forward all the way to 2023, and the man is still playing at 55 years old. I mean, I can say for sure his wife is not a happy woman. And if we're talking about the oldest player to ever play the game, let's not forget the player who had already conquered the world of football at 17 years old. I mean, when a young Pele heard some reporters saying how could they take someone so young to a World Cup, he knew he had to shut them up. After becoming the youngest player to ever score in a World Cup, Pele knew his work wasn't finished. He led his team all the way to a World Cup win, and before he knew it, the same reporters who were doubting him dubbed him O'Ray, meaning the king. The 17-year-old with a fire under his feet would soon become the greatest player of all time, bagging not one or two, but three World Cups in his international career, the only player to do so. Pele inspired an entire generation of football players and lit a hunger for goals in this guy's belly as well. You see, although Rogerio Senni was a goalkeeper, he was doing more goal scoring than keeping. By the time his career was over, he had scored 131 goals, more than any other goalkeeper in football history. Eventually, Guinness had to place him in the record books for his unprecedented achievement. I don't care what kind of accolades you have under your belt as goalkeeper, if you had to defend this header from Cristiano Ronaldo, you'd probably have a hard time doing it. Like he was a rocket built by SpaceX, Ronaldo went 2.93 meters off the ground to guide the ball into the goal. Of course, the defender and the goalkeeper didn't have a chance. Although, if anyone does stand a chance, it's Edwin van der Sar, and he has a world record to back him. Because during the 2008-2009 season, while playing for Manchester United, he was like a human wall. He managed to keep a clean sheet for 21 games throughout the entire season, the most by any goalkeeper. I wonder if there's also a record on the most expensive things football players spend their money on, like the ones in this video. Check it out! Thank <laughs> you.